these churches, false churches, are constantly putting this music out and they use their music as their primary tool of evangelism. Hi, I'm Pastor Daniel. I wanna give you my biblical reasons for encouraging you to reconsider listening to Bethel, Hillsong, and Elevation. These three groups amass millions of dollars every single year and have millions of followers on their social media and are the most popular and most listened to groups in the world. It's quite probable that you include some of their songs in your playlist or sing them in your church. However, I want to shed some light on something deeply disturbing about these leaders and organizations. There is a dark aspect to these organizations and leaders that most Christians are unaware of. My intention today is to shed light in this matter, allowing you to exercise better discernment as a Christian and reconsider your involvement in listening to, supporting, and singing these songs in your church. Number one, they teach the prosperity gospel. It's sometimes referred to the name it and claim it doctrine or the health and wealth gospel. What's on the list? Health, wealth, prosperity, success, all temporal material things. This is the teaching that if you support financially these false leaders and make positive declarations and follow God, God promises that you can have wealth, health, and prosperity. Stephen Furtick, Brian Houston, Brian Johnson combined have an accumulated wealth of almost $80 million. These leaders spend a substantial amount of money on luxury attire, mansions, private jets, luxury vacations, and more, all the while while they exploit their congregation to only enrich themselves. Moreover, Hillsong promotes and endorses other false teachers such as Bill Johnson, Stephen Furtick, Paula White, T.D. Jakes, Joel Osteen, Joseph Prince, and more have all spoken at their events. Number two, they promote and teach little God's theology. This is the idea that believers share in the same essence and nature as God, therefore they can become little gods. You have exactly the same spiritual DNA as Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are a twin to the master himself. <laughs> they believe that they can have the same power and authority as God who creates. Therefore, as little gods, anything that they speak will come to fruition. Number three, positive confession. They teach that your words have direct impact to your life circumstances. Speaking positively attracts blessings and can manipulate reality to your advantage. You have divine power within you. You're part of the divine energy. In other words, you can create your life the way you want your life to be. You can create your world the way you want your world to be. Number four, they have an aberrant view of sin. They hardly discuss sin, and when they do, they say it's not something you're born with, as Psalm 51.5 and Romans 5.12 would say. Instead, they suggest that sin gets in the way of our success in this world and our prosperous life. Do you ever feel like you need to talk about sin? more. You know what, I talk, I just feel like I do it in a different way. They avoid talking about the serious consequences of sin that lead to death. They don't mention that when people sin, they sin against a holy and just God and deserve His punishment. And they don't explain that unrepentant sin will lead to hell. Number five, man-centered teaching. Their teaching is man-centered where they take Bible verses out of context and manipulate God's truth to fit their sinful agenda of the teaching of the prosperity gospel, motivational talk, positivity, and self-improvement. Get that off you! That's not your name! That's not your station! That's not your end! The focus is primarily on man-centered teaching rather than giving worship and praise and honor to God's holy and perfect name. This is the same thing that Satan has been doing for thousands of years. He takes a bit of God's truth and he twists it just so that it sounds almost true. Number six, they have a heretical view of Jesus. They present a distorted view of Jesus and say that if you follow him, you will have health, wealth, and prosperity. This false view of Jesus overlooks the fact that Jesus Christ came and died for guilty sinners so that we could be reconciled back to the Father in relationship. Additionally, prosperity gospel teachers undermine suffering or do not talk about it at all. Despite Jesus' clear teaching in the Bible in Matthew 16, 24, carry your cross to 
deny yourself in order that you be his follower. The Bible never teaches that you will not suffer. In fact, if you follow Jesus, suffering is a guarantee. Look at Jesus and the apostles. They gave up everything for the spread of the gospel. They were persecuted, thrown in prison, abandoned by friends and family, tortured, left hungry, and ultimately gave up their lives for the kingdom of God. Number seven, these false leaders and organizations teach that God is raising up modern day apostles with the same power and authority as the apostles and Jesus in the Bible. This is called the NAR or the New Apostolic Reformation. This teaching often ties supernatural power to financial prosperity. They all claim the same thing. As a Christian, you have the personal power to recreate life's reality into exactly what you want it to be. And they do it in the name of Jesus. This is contrary to the Bible. Humans do not possess the same authority and power as the apostles in the New Testament. The apostles who saw the resurrected Jesus were specifically anointed by Jesus to have these signs and wonders such as raising the dead, healing the sick, so that the church could be launched in Acts. Those signs and wonders and that apostolic gift ended when the last apostle died. Therefore, no Christian today can ever claim they have the same power and authority of Jesus Christ because because in order to be an apostle, you have had to have been anointed by Jesus personally and have seen him resurrected physically. It's essential to understand that the false theology and heretical teachings of these organizations are woven into their music, influencing millions of listeners. While a sermon might be listened to only once or twice, these songs are listened to over and over again, which significantly and spiritually shape your beliefs. In closing, when you listen to and sing these songs in your your church, you are financially supporting these organizations and leaders. They receive money on platforms such as Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Music because they own the rights to this music. Unfortunately, they use this money for heretical teachings, false theology, and a luxurious lifestyle. For these reasons, I am personally convinced that God is not glorified or honored by these songs, organizations, and leaders. If you are a pastor or praise leader, you are called to a high standard, and it is your responsibility Ability to guard the flock from wolves in sheep's clothing who teach deceptive and damning doctrines. Stephen Furtick, Brian Houston, Bill Johnson, all from Hillsong, Bethel, and Elevation are all false and heretical teachers that teach a false gospel, a false Jesus, and blaspheme the holy and perfect name of God. It is a blasphemous lie. It is a lie that preys on the weak and the desperate and preys on the people who have nothing but fallen, corrupt, unregenerate, normal human desires. Oh, it works. It makes the predators rich because everybody sends them the money. That's how you trigger it. That's how you prove your faith. And everybody else is disappointed. False religion is the most heinous of all sins because it's a violation of the great commandment to love the Lord your God, the true one, with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and false religion that borrows His name but creates a false God and borrows the name of Christ but creates a false Christ is the worst kind of blasphemy. My prayer is that these leaders would repent of their sins and turn to Jesus Christ as their only hope and Savior. I hope this video opened up your eyes to the truth. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed and supported this channel so that I can make more videos like this in the future for you. To Jesus alone be the glory. God bless.